Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a look using the Monard Renaissance palette from Anastasia. So if you want to see what I create, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my face using the Too, uh, Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I am just going to put that around my face, not including my T-zone area. Don't mind my hand. It's really dirty from swatches and my self-tanner and yes, I am very self-tanned. I went a little overboard, but it's okay. And then for my T-zone, I am just going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Okay, so for foundation today, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, foundation in the shade Buff Bisque. And I'm only using this one because it is the darkest foundation that I have. I didn't really think about foundation whenever I was applying 18 layers of self tanner. So I am just going to really bronze up my skin later on just so I don't look crazy. Does anyone else have this foundation? Do you like the spatula on it? I love it. Because like, I hate the ones that just have like nothing, you know, and you have to like pour it out on your hand. Hate that. Or I like ones with a pump. And for concealer, I am going to use the matching, um, and for concealer, I am just going to use the Photo Focus Wet n Wild um, Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. And then to highlight the rest of my face, I am going to use the NYX HD Studio concealer in the shade porcelain okay so I'm going to blend that in with a damp beauty blender so this weekend I went out to the club with my husband and his friends and it it was a time it was a time to be alive. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I had fun. I mean, of course, I was the designated driver because I'm only 19 years old, but I don't know. Like, my husband can literally drink like a whole bottle of Patron and be perfectly fine, but his friends, like literally one of them, huh, he's probably never gonna watch this video, but anyway, one of his friends took a shot, took two shots. Well, he had been drinking before that, but he took one and then he took another one at the club and then threw up on the bar. Oh my God. Yeah, and then he just like continued to throw up literally the rest of the night. And then the other one was like, let's go to McDonald's. So we went to McDonald's and then they all just started throwing up on each other and it was actually really funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural. Contour, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, the lighter palette, not the one, not Caramel Toffee, it's the other one. I'm just gonna use a little paddle brush like this. And I'm gonna take this shade and then apply it right here. I wanted to bronze my base with my butter bronzer, but I also wanted to use my um, Wet and Wild Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil, so... 
You know, I'm just gonna use this one as a bronzer topper and bronze my face with this one. Then I'm just gonna take this little duo fiber brush and take this Wet n Wild bronzer and take it to Brazil and then I'm just gonna lightly dust over top of that. This bronzer is so pretty but it has like It has like a sheen to it, so I don't like to use it like as just my bronzer, like a, bl a bronzer topper, I guess, is what I like it more for. So, okay. Now I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Powder and I am just going to carve out my cheekbones. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use my Morphe palette and I think I'm going to use this shade right here. Every time I like bake my face, I always think of um, Mean Girls, <laughs> or no, White Chicks, whenever she's like, clean it up, Cocor. That's so funny. For highlight, I am going to use my Wet n Wild um, highlighter in Precious Petals. And then I'm just going to use this little e.l.f. Um, tapered highlighting brush. guys like apply highlighter because like this girl yesterday at Walmart I like wasn't judging her but she was like looking at the wet and wild makeup and like the brushes and she was like I need a fan brush and like I wanted to like say something but I didn't want to think I was weird and she was like I need a fan brush I need a fan brush blah 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 and then she went <laughs> she went and she grabbed this brush this like big fluffy brush and like I wasn't gonna I was going to tell her like hey that's not a fan brush but I didn't want her to think I was rude so I don't know I just want to know how do you guys like apply highlighter like would you use a brush like that because mm, I would not just because I feel like it's like you don't want like highlighter like right here like you want it just like in this area I guess or I don't know I guess it's more of a personal thing but Sometimes I use this brush or sometimes I use like a fan brush, but like a fan brush like this, that looks like a fan, you know, not a powder brush. I don't know. Okay, I'm like totally not trying to be mean, but then she was like, I need, I need an eyebrow brush and she literally picked up this one. But that's not my business, so. I'm just gonna set all of that with this Milani Make It Last setting spray. <laughs> Ugh. Mmm, that smells like perfume. It smells good. That better make it last, because that was expensive, girl. Okay. Should I do my eyebrows on camera? I feel like I do the same thing every time. So, LMK, if you like that I do my eyebrows or if you want like an eyebrow tutorial, I know I don't do anything crazy. I just like use my little NYX brow gel. I don't know. Do y'all enjoy washing my eyebrows? I know I speed it up anyway, but I don't know. Like, I don't know, I feel like I I don't want to do them on camera, but I know some people like to see people do their eyebrows. I don't know. Just let me know. Okay, question. Does anyone else watch Pretty Little Liars? <laughs> and I only ask because I literally watch it every day of my of my whole life like that literally consumes my life I watch Pretty Little Liars every day I'm literally watching it right at this very moment like I'm obsessed I watch it all the time 
And if you do watch it, I want to know. I want to know if you guys watch it. And if you do, tell me who you think A is. I think... I don't know. I thought... For a while, I thought it was Arya, but then I was watching, like, interviews of them, and they were like, no, it's not Arya, blah, blah, blah. Well, Arya said that it wasn't her, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to prime my eyes with this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. But for a while, I thought it was Arya, and then she was like, yeah, no one, no one told me who A was, and she thought, she said that people thought it was her, but it's not her. So then, I started watching YouTube videos about like conspiracies and people thought people think that like Spencer has a twin and or Allison has a twin but I feel like it's not gonna be Allison that has a twin because it's that's like how the books are and I feel like they're not gonna like make it like the book you know what I mean I feel like they're gonna make it different but I don't know I feel like Spencer having a twin could really be could really be one but at the same time I also feel like Leslie Stone could be, could be a, I don't know. If y'all haven't seen any of it, then you're probably really lost. But if you've only seen what's on Netflix, then you have to go and watch the, there's like 20 more episodes on like Put Locker, like, you know, like those websites where you can watch like movies for free or whatever. But you need to catch up because... The last episodes are coming out April 18th. Oh my god. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with temp Tempra right here. But yeah. Like, literally, I don't know. And if I find out, like, whenever I find out who it is, I feel like I'm gonna be kind of sad because I feel like I'm already, like, suspecting everyone. So, like, it won't be a shock to me. But if it is, if it is somebody that I didn't suspect, then I'll be happy, but... Like, if Spencer has a twin, that would be really, really cool, but, like, weird at the same time. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna go into Golden Ochre. But, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just wanna know already. Like, I can't wait. Also, Ren, the, like, British guy... <sighs> I swear, I feel like he's a, like, only because Archer Dunhill, the guy who is pretending to be Elliot, like, the doctor, he's British, and Ren is British, and it's, the new texts are signed AD, which everyone thought was Archer Dunhill, which still could be, but what if Archer Dunhill is Ren? Oh my god. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just want to know already because I can't go on with my life and I guarantee once once the episodes are like once everything's already done all the Pretty Little Liars is over I'm still gonna watch it every single day because I just can't watch anything else I'm just obsessed I love like the plot I love the characters I love their outfits I'm going to go into red ochre. My birthday is next Tuesday. Turning 20 years old. As the lady at the emergency room kindly reminded me, she was like, yeah, you're no longer going to be a teenager. And I was like, mm -hmm, I know. <laughs> I mean, not that it's like a bad thing, but... I'm just so used to everybody like being shocked whenever I tell them that I'm only 19 years old because I swear everybody that I'm like surrounded by over here is like 25, 23, like 27. I'm like, yeah, I'm 19. I'm like, I'm going to use Venetian Red and I'm just going to use this little brush that came with the palette. I'm going to take Love Letter and put that right on the outer corner. I'm 
then I'm going to take Venetian Red again, this shade right here, with a blending brush and then just buff everything out. a little flat shader brush I'm going to take tempera again and then just highlight my brow bone and then for the lid I'm going to take this elf molten liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade brushed copper and I'm just going to put that right on the inner part of my lid Have y'all heard the song Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran? Oh my god, I love that song. You have to listen to it, I swear. It's like the best song of life. It will change your life. Okay, and then I'm going to take MAC Blonde Streak. And it is a pressed pigment. It looks like this. And I'm just going to put that right over top with my finger. Maybe not my finger. I'm just going to use this little flat brush. And then going back into the palette, I'm going to take um, Venetian Red and then I'm just going to blend that together. corner I am going to take Vermeer and with a little shader brush like this I am just going to pop that right on the inner corners of my eye and then for underneath my eye I am going to take I am going to take a love letter, opposite side of that brush, I am going to take Venetian Red and just buff that out. For liquid liner, I am going to use my Essence Waterproof Liner and this is just black. I'm just going to coat my, actually no. I am going to waterline my eyes with this. Wet and Wild Eye Coal, and this is in the shade, um, Baby's Got Black. <laughs> I'm going to coat my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I'm just going to apply these um, Salon Perfect lashes and these are in the style 615 okay so I just went ahead and applied my lashes and now I'm just going to apply the Kylie lip kit and this is in the shade Posey K I'm just going to apply the matching liquid lipstick right over top And then I'm just going to set all of that down with the Milani Make It Last setting spray once again. Guys, y'all should seriously buy this product just because it smells good. And the spray, like look at it. Oh my god. Like if that doesn't make you want to buy it, then I don't know what will. I feel like it's like the, um, actually no, I'm lying. I was going to say it's like the Smashbox Primer Water, but it's not because that one's a primer and this one's not. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.